I want to take just a brief opportunity to thank you. Thank both the clergy and the laity of the North Texas Conference. It has been a joy and a privilege to serve as the bishop for 10 years of the North Texas Conference. And of course, none of us thought it would be 10 years that it would happen, but different events in the life of the world and what is happening in the church has made that necessary. But I've been thinking about you and my gratitude for all that you do and who you are. And it might surprise you, it shouldn't, that different places I go in the country and, and visit with clergy from other conferences or other bishops or laity, they said, how is it that the North Texas Conference has so many gifted clergy? And I'd say, I think it's because so many people work on that. And it's the laity and the clergy who ensure that we have gifted persons in ministry. And they come out of the laity of this conference, which is a good group of people. So I want to thank you for your ministry during some trying times. There have been tornadoes, there have been other uh, storm events, there have been the pandemic, the Boy Scouts, any number of things we could talk about that have been difficult for us to navigate. But not only have you done that, you have also continued the ongoing work of being, of being in ministry. In ministry to people who need to hear about this Jesus the Christ. So I want to thank you for your gifts of ministry and what you have done and what you will continue to do. And in a couple of weeks, you will receive a new bishop and all of you know who he is, Bishop Reuben Sines. And he'll be serving not only the North Texas Conference but the Central Texas Conference. But I hope that you'll greet him and welcome him in the same way that you did me over 10 years ago. And I know you and I know that you would do. Bishop Sines is a very gifted leader and he brings a, a wealth of experience and a great vision of the future for the church. And so I hope that you will continue to pray for him in the days leading to his arrival and coming to the North Texas Conference and knowing that you will be in very good hands and will have a very faithful and effective leader. Again, thank you. And I'm grateful that Bishop Sines is going to come and be the Episcopal leader among a group of people who I dearly love and respect. God bless you.